yesterday uh, was a sharp sell-off in equity markets in North America, uh, led by uh, the strongest sectors uh, from new all-time highs. Um, just from underneath the surface, uh, the TSX uh, did have a reasonably significant pullback. We broke some lows from earlier in uh, July and August. Uh, and so that's certainly something to keep an eye on. That's the first shot across the bow. In our long-term breadth indicators, they remain positive for the NYSE, for the NASDAQ, for the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ 100. We have four short-term indicators. They have been weakening over the last two weeks. Percent of stocks trading above their 50-day moving average has moved down from 74% to 62. It was down 8% yesterday. So that is 8% of stocks breaking some short-term trend. Uh, percent of stocks with positive momentum, that's upward trajectory, has backed off from 96% to 52, which just represents a narrowing uh, 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 list of stocks with upward trajectory. We know that the largest stocks have been making the biggest difference recently. Uh, and the percent of stocks hitting new highs versus new lows weakened a little bit too. So under the surface, three of our four short-term indicators weaker. The other thing to keep in mind is that over the last two weeks, volatility has been rising, VIX. Generally, when the market's rising, volatility falls. And we've had a good, fairly sharp move higher uh, in volatility, which can happen at near-term sort of market pullback points. And obviously we got some of that yesterday. Uh, when I go through um, uh, some of the underlying groups, small and mid cap stocks have seen some weakness in the long-term models. We don't have a lot of exposure there. Uh, so that's not a major issue. For the NASDAQ, obviously it's been a straight up move uh, since April. This first little three box pullback uh, uh, is often when we've had a straight up move, the sign that we're headed into some correction or consolidation. Now that could just be that the market works its way sideways. It could be just a small check back. It can turn into something more than that. It's certainly something to watch closely. The Russell 2000, which is small mid cap stocks, did see more damage. This was the high in June. We had a lower high in September, and now we've made a lower low. So uh, again, we don't have a lot of exposure in mid cap stocks, uh, but that's a group that we have to watch. Some, some things that are a little bit more positive, semiconductors certainly had a big pullback yesterday and as, as most tech stocks did, but you can see all the way along in this rally, we've been making higher lows and higher highs, higher lows and higher highs. So far, all this is is a pullback within trend. Now, when we look at all of our underlying stocks, many of them pulled back in, in not inconsequential amounts. But remember that tech stocks have been going straight up. Very few broke trend. And so we'll watch each individual position. If I had a, if I owned the semiconductor index, we do own it in a couple of accounts. Uh, if it traded below this previous low here at 2180, it's at 2240 that's where our stop loss would be, but we're not there. And so whether it's ETFs or separately uh, single securities, very few securities uh, hit stop loss points. A few things just at the sector level to keep in mind. Um, on the positive side, actually there was some strength under the surface yesterday. So it may just be rotation from growth to value. As of Tuesday, the difference in return between growth securities like technology and healthcare and value securities, which would include like industrials and banks, is the widest it's been in 20 years. In the last three days, value oriented securities actually have been relatively outperforming. Uh, Real Estate Investment Trust yesterday gave a buy signal and we saw it in multiple different versions of real estate type holdings. We had also some strength in value, that's mid cap value. We had some strength in banks, uh, which have notably underperformed the market since the beginning of the rally. So if the reopening trade is gonna catch some attention, well, it would be logical to see growth stocks maybe pull back a bit. 
And so it's possible that we have one of two things, just a very short term check back in the strongest groups and bull markets are marked by steady advances and short sharp pullbacks. And that's what we've had so far in tech. They probably could pull back a little bit more, but on the other side, good to see buying taking place in groups that have been out of favor. And as you know, we've been adding some exposure to financials, Canadian banks over the last couple of weeks. We've added some industrials weight over the last couple of weeks. Uh, and these uh, groups both were much stronger than the market yesterday and appear to be stronger this morning on the stronger employment data. So uh, can't take everything from one day, um, but, uh, but there are some positives underneath the surface and we'll watch to see if our long-term indicators hold. At this point, they're positive. Now, let me just add one more thing. In the very short run, this is the S&P 500. This is the trend that's been in place since early summer. So far, we held above that trend line. So there's a pullback within trend. The thin red line is the eight day moving average that we broke yesterday. The red line is the 21 day moving average. And to this point, every pullback to the 21 day moving average is held. So um, on the NASDAQ, which of course has been the strength in the market, this has been the channel that we've been in, bounded at the top by this uh, line, bounded at the bottom by this line. We got right up to the top of the channel, just poked its head above, it set off a correction. We pulled back to the lower end of the channel. At this point, this is natural. The 21 day moving average is represented underneath here. We'll watch to see whether that holds and that's at the bottom end of the recent channel. So at this point, it's natural correction. If we look at the individual securities we have, it's natural correction. Doesn't mean it's not sharp. It, it's been a sharp advance, um, but uh, uh, we'll see as we go forward, uh, whether there is further damage uh, and we'll watch closely uh, and assess it as we go. That's it.